Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project really shop management system and I have developed this project in Python Django and MySQL and the version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and the MySQL version is uh, I am using 5.6 and for connecting MySQL with Python and Django I am using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website even you can get it or install it from the pip module right so this is the backend technology for front end this is a web project that's why i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also have used like uh, creating drop down menus creating uh, formal editions integration of the calendars creating uh, uh, sliders like these things i am using the jquery modules right which is running on the client side for giving some good effects inside the project right so these all technologies i am using for developing these projects right so let's start with the functionality go through so the project title is value shop management system it's a web-based mini dbms project developed in python django and mysql right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple for home page right this is the home page if you want to change the content you can change directly from the html page this is about this is also a static page right this is a contact us page it's a form only and i'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even I am not sending any type of email and SMS from this page, right? So this is a login. This is a dynamic and uh, you can log in inside the system using the admin and test. So the password is test and username is admin. So this operations admin can perform. This same menu is available in above header bar. So you can see the in above header bar, the menu is available. Right? So this is as add jewelry from where you will be able to add any number of jewelry products, right? and this product will be displayed in the drop down at the time of sales right this is a salary details so all of the jewelry which you have added will be displayed here means uh, there are eight products available and these eight products are uh, will be displayed in the drop down at the time of sales right even you can edit it so you can edit it from here you can delete it you can delete it from here right so this is a add jewelry and add jewelry details right means you can add the product this is the add uh, cells right so from here you will be able to add the cells so you need to enter the first uh, customer and the contact number anything you can enter and you click on that once you click on add it will ask for the product right so there is no item into the cart right so you need to select the cart <coughs> so this item and total cost item uh, customer needs to pay is ten thousand. if customer needs other item then he can add it if customer needs other item then he can add it right so there are three items and if customer needs other other item then he can add it he can add any number of items and this product this drop down will contain all of those uh, values which you you have added from the front end panel right if and you can if you want to delete it then you can delete it from here also this is right this is the right and once you click on the save order then this full page will be saved and this is the order receipt right so this is the non-editable order receipt page you can get it uh, on from the uh, order sales history page also right this is the sales details right so once you click on the sales details all the all of the sales which has been made by you will be displayed here once you click on the view order you will be able to get the order details so this is this was our last order and the order id was 11 and you can get this is the full order details so this full page is coming from the database right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and after that you will be able to log inside the system using your updated password this is the logout uh, from which uh, all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to uh, access the internal pages means administrative menu will not be displayed even no one will be able to access the internal pages right once you click on the logout then you can see the menu is not displaying because it's a session driven right once you log in then menu is displaying right so this functionality is available inside the project okay so as i told you earlier the project title is value shop management system it's a python web-based mini dbms project right which contains only and only admin functionality there is no other users login there is no customer logins available inside this project 
that's why it's a mini project but if you need more functionality in this period just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much